Well guys, welcome back. Today is March the 2nd, and what I wanna do today is bust into one of these beehives and do a hive inspection. And the main thing that I wanna talk about today is the absolute best food that you can feed your bees with. And it's no big secret, it's already inside of the hive and the bees will actually gather it themselves. So let's get inside of this hive and see what we got going on. So right now it is a little bit later in the day. The temperature is between 55 and 60. Wouldn't call this ideal conditions to get into the hives, but as y'all know right now, we're kind of back and forth. So uh, I kind of got to get, in them to get into them when I can. Let's give them a little smoke to calm them down. And we'll see what they got going on. Well, right off the bat here, I'm gonna be able to demonstrate what the best food is for your bees. Let's uh, grab one of these frames and we'll talk about it this is not my favorite hive tool i've got a maxent hive lifter tool but i don't know where it is right now so i'm just gonna have to do the do the best i can with this generic one well, guys there we go right here this is the absolute best stuff that you can feed your bees let's go over here and talk about this so this is what we're talking about. We're talking about winter feeding for the bees. Bees have got to have enough stored honey in their hives in order to make it through the cold winter months. What I do is I allow the bees to gather all of the stuff that comes in in the fall and they put it up and then they eat that through the winter. And this is absolutely the best stuff they can be eating. It is what the bees were created to consume. It's the healthiest. It's got the best balance of nutrients in it. You cannot go wrong feeding honey to your bees. So this frame of honey, of course, is one of the frames that my bees most likely gathered back in the fall. And this is what they've been munching on all winter. And this particular box of bees is an extremely healthy box of bees. The population is very, very strong. They seem to be growing quite well for the spring buildup in anticipation of the honey flow. So naturally, this right here is the stuff that the bees like. I can see why, except this has got some goldenrod in it. In the fall, my bees bring back goldenrod honey, goldenrod nectar, and dry it down into honey. Goldenrod is kind of a bitter, nasty tasting honey, but the bees love it and it's super healthy for them. You're just not going to get these kind of nutrients in corn syrup or sugar syrup or anything like that. Now, having said that, if you're in an emergency situation and you don't think you have enough for the bees to overwinter with, you definitely do need to do some supplemental feeding there. But ideally, just let them have what they make in the fall. That'll get them through the winter. They'll be healthier. You'll save money on sugar syrup and corn syrup and so forth. And uh, it'll just be a better situation for the bees. Good honey makes happy bees and healthy beehives. Let's go ahead and get this box back together and we'll dig into this hive a little more and uh, see what the rest of it looks like. Get some of these bees off of the top of these frames here and then we'll clean up this burr comb a little bit pull one of these frames as well i think all of this is honey up here too yeah we got some honey in here but we've also got some bee bread let's take a closer look well guys i am really glad that i pulled this frame this is a wonderful example of a very healthy frame in a hive of bees here so uh, especially a winter frame so if you look you've kind of got a rainbow pattern going on here over on this side and in the top corner a little bit not so much along the top of the frame but then again over here in this corner you've kind of got a rainbow pattern of honey that's your honey right there and then if you look in these cells you see all the yellow right in there in that semicircle pattern, that rainbow pattern, almost a perfect rainbow. That's what you call bee bread. Now, all bee bread is is pollen that the bees have brought back to the hive, put down in those cells right there, and then fermented down, and it serves as a protein source 
for brood rearing. And speaking of brood rearing, in the bottom of this right here, if y'all can see the white right there, we've got larva. There we go, I had to zoom in a little bit so you can see the larva down in those cells right there. And that's older stage larva right there. They're, they're getting ready to cap that. And then on the top here, we've got some much younger, smaller little worms down in there. It's a bee larva. And I think if I'm looking at the screen right, we've got a few eggs down in those cells right there. Maybe you can just barely see. I'm very glad we pulled that frame. That was a wonderful, wonderful frame right there. Let's dig down a little bit farther and see if we can find some more. Again, this is not the best time of day to be doing this. I'm smoking them a little bit more than normal so we don't have a full-on revolt here. Well guys, we're just picking all of the right ones today. Y'all check this out. So this right here is some brood that has been laid in some cells and those cells were built between these frames. This is the top bar of this bottom frame right here and of course we just took off the box up top which would have pulled this apart and exposed this brood right here. Now this is really important or really handy I guess you could say because this brood right here is drone brood. These are the boy bees right here. These smaller ones right over here appear to be worker brood but this is definitely drone brood. And drone Drone brood is really handy for checking the varroa mite levels in your hives because the drone larvae stay in the cells for longer. They stay about 26 or so days, whereas the workers stay only 21 days. Now, the varroa mites like the drone brood because the varroa mites multiply inside of these cells. And the longer those cells stay closed, the more they can multiply. Therefore, they gravitate towards these drone brood right here. Now what you can do is you can get you a sample of about 10 of these right here, count the level of mites or the number of mites that you find on them, and um, figure out what your mite levels in your hives are. I can't remember offhand how many it is um, where you start needing to get concerned, but I'll look that up and put it on the screen. But I wouldn't expect to see any or a whole lot of mites in this. I've done some pretty good mite treatments recently, and uh, indeed I'm not seeing anything right here. But yeah, this doesn't need to be in this area anyway, so this is a good chance to uh, clean up your hive just a little bit and get a good um, mite check as well. Clean these top bars up just a little and um, we'll see what we got in these frames. This is a great frame too, so we can see a little bit of honey in the top corner here, some bee bread, but as we get deeper into the hive, we're getting into the brood nest. You can see we've got lots more brood right here, some older brood right here that's capped, some younger brood right here in the middle that you can see down in there and see the larva down in there. And then of course we've got some more bee bread and maybe a little honey or some uncapped honey over there, I'm not really sure. So this is a great frame right here. This tells me that I've got a very healthy hive. So I just took a flashlight off camera and looked down in there. I've actually got eggs in these cells right here. There's some older larva right there, maybe five, seven days old, but right in here there's actually eggs. It's really hard for me to get the camera down in there to see, but anyhow there's some eggs down in there which is fantastic. That means I do not have to go searching for a queen in this hive. I know she's in there. I know she's laying eggs and I know she's healthy because man, she is laying a nice pattern and she is laying like gangbusters. When I first started beekeeping, I would just very obsessively go into the hives and try my best to find that queen. But I learned finally that you just don't need to find the queen every time you're in there, unless there's some kind of an issue with her. If you've got eggs uh, and there's a nice pattern on those eggs and she's doing a good job don't even bother don't even bother looking for the queen you've got a good one and i have harassed these for long enough let's get them back together
I'm going to take a quick glance into this hive as well, but I'm not going to spend as much time in here. So this frame, we've got lots of honey. Seem to be doing okay right here, but I am a little bit nervous at the amount that they have. They don't have nearly as much as that last box we were looking at, and they still got some uh, time to go before the new honey or the new nectar starts to come in. About a month, maybe a month and a week. Um, so I'll have to keep an eye on this box. In this box, I can see there's some honey and I can see that there's some brood down in there. What I'm gonna do is just pop this box off, lift it and see what kind of weight there is to it, just to kind of get a rough judge or a rough estimate of how much food they have left. But they're getting a little bit cranky, so I'm about ready to be done with them. Doesn't feel like a whole lot. I'm going to have to keep an eye on this one. I can't imagine what the audio in this video is going to sound like. The bees keep getting caught in the cover of the microphone here, and I'm sure that's just wreaking havoc on the audio on this video. I'll see what that sounds like when I edit the video. But uh, anyway, I'm going to be done for the bees for the day. Uh, it's a little on the cooler side today, and of course, I mentioned that I started this project today a little bit later in the day than I had wanted to begin it. Uh, but I've seen all I needed to see anyway. That last box that we looked at, is a little bit light on food supply and they've got about a month maybe a month and a week left before new nectar starts coming in so they can sustain and replenish those stores and make a little bit extra for us and if it gets down to it if they get way too light on stores I'll probably rob a couple of high or a couple of frames out of that first box that we looked at because they seem to have a gracious plenty in there. Um, but yeah, if you can get away with it, if you uh, have a good honey flow in the fall in your area, try to only extract honey once per year. Leave the bees with honey to go over the winter with. It's the healthiest thing they can eat. Um, it's free. Uh, you don't have to feed them sugar syrup or corn syrup, which is nutritionally deficient. It's just a bunch of carbs, basically. Um, it's good for them. It's what bees were created to eat in the first place. It's what they like, and it makes happy bees. Um, of course, good food for the bees is actually only half of the equation. I mentioned varroa mites on that first hive that we were talking about. And last year, unfortunately, uh, I lost three hives due to varroa mite infestation. Uh, I've mentioned on the channel several times we've been away at seminary trying to finish up a seminary degree and unfortunately I waited too late to treat the bees for mites last year and uh, I lost three hives and I knew better than that I could have done a whole lot better and avoided that situation but um, unfortunately that's how it turned out so uh, my loss is your gain treat your bees for mites check your mite loads there's a couple of different ways to do it um, you can do the alcohol wash you can do a uh, powdered sugar wash I'll try to leave some links to descriptions <coughs> excuse me I'll try to leave um, uh, in the comments some links to those processes down below so y'all can check those out and get a good mite treatment um, there's lots and lots of options for treating your mites I have treated both of these um, hives right here for mites and the mites look fantastic uh, they're exploding in growth couldn't find any mites in the drone brood on that first hive and these hives are in good shape if I can keep that last hive that we looked at fed but anyhow um, I hope y'all are doing well we are 
right now we're back and forth from seminary to here i'm finishing up in may i've mentioned before on the channel i've got just uh, about two months left or so and i'm very excited and i'll try my best to keep y'all updated on what our plans are once we have more rock solid plans for the future i will try to fill y'all in on all of that stuff but hope y'all enjoyed this video i appreciate y'all watching and i will see y'all on the next one